Alright y'all boys, we're back with another Soul Leveling Arise video, and today we're going to be covering a very highly underrated character. I don't think a lot of people even think or know about this character and what he can do. Very undermined, very underdog. I don't think anybody even really cares for this character too much because, you know, they, they like mommy, waifus, and Giga Chad toys, you know? And yes, the character I am talking about is Huang Dong Su. Now, a lot of people don't really know what he does because, I mean, they probably didn't look at what he does. They probably didn't even care because, I mean, you have characters like Lin who are absolutely nuts, right? And then you have characters like Choi, who just looks like, you know, rich Giga Chad, you know? Then you have Baek, like, it's just all these incredible cast of characters. And then all these mommies that, you know, hold me. And then there's just Huang. Right? But I'm here to tell you, he's actually a very good character. And a very interesting one at that. And does have a unique uh, gimmick or niche, I guess you can call it. But a very powerful one, that is. So, let's get right into it. So first up, he's a Wind Fighter. So let's just get that out of the way, Wind Fighter. And he works off of defense. So all his attacks are based off of his defense. So you're going to be wanting to build him defense. So first up, you have his S rank fist. He swings his fist violently. Then you have the S rank influence. Dong Su rotates and swings his fist powerfully to strike the enemy. This will be your core attack. Next up, you have your basic skill, urge to kill. Dong Su stomps the ground hard and detonates it. And then, of course, it has more to it. It can knock down the enemy and the skill can be used three times. And when this skill hits, it removes the target's shield. So, not only does he knock down and does damage, and it has a 3 stock, he can also remove shields. I don't think there's any other single character in the entire game that removes shield. He is the only character that does this. The only one. So, he already has high value because no other character can do this. When you're starting to fight bosses like the Golem who, has, who just puts up six bars of barrier, he's going to be the best because he's just going to instantly remove it. And it's on the skill, right? On the skill, not even the no, it's on the skill. So he could easily get that within a matter of seconds, right? Next up, you have Scavenge. Huang Dong Su charges violently and punches with his fist. Damage. 2300%. That's, that's a lot of damage. 2300% just for a basic skill like that, you know? Like, not even Lim's charge shot does that much, right? But crazy, nonetheless. It also inflicts the airborne effect. Next up, you have the support skill. Dong Su charges violently, punches with his fist, and stomps on the ground hard to make it explode. This skill also stuns the target for 4 seconds. So, if you have him as a support, Amazing because he removes shield and he also stuns. So you have a stunner and a, a shield removal. And you could use him in the support slot. So when you're using Sun Jing Wu as your main character, boom, you have a shield removal and a stun all in one. So amazing. Uh -huh. Next up, you have his QTE skill, Steel <laughs> Blow. Dong Su appears with his steel frame and strikes the enemy in front of him. GG. They're definitely good. Nothing crazy, just does, it's just your QTE, doesn't do anything aside knockdown, right? And then, you have his ultimate, Merciless. Dong Su swings his fist at incredible speed and strikes the enemy. And then when the last attack in the combo hits, it inflicts the airborne effect. This deals uh, wind elemental damage, of course. Now you're being, you might be thinking, well he doesn't do much, he doesn't have break attacks, he doesn't do anything aside knockdowns, uh, airborne effects, and shield removal. <laughs> what else does he have in his kit? Is that really all he has? Well, aside from the stunning and shield removal and airborne effects and knockdown effects, he actually has an incredibly usable and, like, I'd say it's very well for his kit. Passive, right? Uh, so, here's his passive. When <laughs> Breed Scavenger, Steel Blow, or s rank Influence are used after being hit, he applies the Impulse effect. When the impulse effect reaches max tax, applies the impulse revenge effect. In so impulse increases the user's defense by 3%, stacks up to 5 times. The duration is infinite. So as you're stacking it up, you're gaining more defense. So the more hits you take, the more defense you get. 
isn't that good because all his attacks scale off of defense. So lucky him, right? On top of that, when he hits five stacks, he increases his defense by 24% overall and then creates a shield which is 12% of his defense. So it's a it's a massive shield. Like it's massive. Like he is tanking like nothing. Right? When applying the effect for the first time, urge skill is enhanced and the damage is doubled and the cooldown resets, right? And the duration is 10 seconds. So this is urge skill, right? And basically, <laughs> what you do is you pop, you pop him in, you use his three stomps, you're going to get hit one time most likely, you use his three stomps, <laughs> then you use his, his other skill, right? Between just using his couple stomps, you'll probably be at max stacks, so you'll have the revenge impulse almost immediately, and then you use scavenge, and then your damage is going to like go through the roof because you're having all the defense bonus because of revenge impulse right? impulse of revenge excuse me and then of course in my case i do have a dupe in him so my greed scavenger can be charged up to tier two at two dupes i'll get increased five percent defense so nothing crazy but then this third dupe every time the greed scavenger is used he obtains the madness effect which increases the user's defense and defense penetration by four percent and it stacks up to three times which is absolutely crazy but yeah that's basically his kit and i'm, I'm going to showcase him to you and and show you how he performs but before i get too into it let me talk about his sets so his sets i am using the, the two uh two piece crit hard leather gloves and then i am using the two piece dragon knights now you do not have to use the two piece hard leather gloves uh i'd probably either use full dragon knight or the full shield a full shield set because when you do go into impulsive revenge you will gain a shield based off your of your defense and then this you know the increase of the shield strength is, is better for you and then obviously you'll be increasing your damage though by 10 percent as well for 10 seconds and it's very easy to get that shield up because all you have to do is take five hits or just use your skills to stack it up right which is super quick because all you have to do is get five stacks it's not even like 10 stacks or anything so you could keep he could get his shield so consistently and so quick it's not even an issue but yep i have this on because this is what i have at the moment which is the hard leather gloves but i do plan to swap into an either full set dragon knights or full uh guardians power gauge set and of course i'm gonna go through these so you can see the stats and then for the accessory sets it's going to be the Viridescent. The reason you're going to be using Viridescent is because a lot of his damage is going to be coming from his basic skills, which is his first skill and the second skill because they do have stocks, so you can use them multiple times. So the more damage you can do on those skills is the best. And of course, the quicker that they come back, the better. So of course, you're going to want to have the four piece of this so you can increase the damage effect to 18%, right? And then the cooldown reduction effect of all basic skills to 18% as well. So you'll be gaining all your skills quicker and you'll be using, you'll be dealing more damage with your skills. Now, the biggest problem that arises from using this set is the fact that you're going to be having high uh, MP consumption, but that is completely fine because it's only 20% more and 20% of 30 MP. So you're not going to be having like a big change overall. Like at most, you'll probably have one less skill because, because you used all your mana, right? So yeah, this is basically going to be the set. As you can see, some of this isn't even invested into, right? Like, I don't have an investment into this. And the only reason I didn't invest into this is because he scales off of defense. Although I did notice that some characters, even though they their modifiers do scale off of defense, they still gain a little bit from having attack, right? But overall, I do not want to use this. On him, I actually do want to use a defense set, but I do not have any other ones at the current moment that give him more defense. So I guess you could say it's a bit scuffed build, but at the same time, it's not scuffed when you see what he can output in like a matter of seconds. So let's get right into it. Let's see, what's the best place that I can showcase this off at? Probably Battlefield Trials, right? Now I would have preferred to do it like maybe uh, Arachnid or something like that. 
but I really don't have any keys at the moment, so I am just going to do the Battlefield of Trials. Because, I mean, this is probably the best boss for me to do right now, because this boss, for some reason, just does not want to die whatsoever. It has so much HP, so I don't have to worry about him dying on me or anything. And I'm about to show you what he can do. Because at first, I didn't, I wasn't sure if he was going to be anything crazy. But when I got him, I was like, you know what? His kit sounds fun. I think I might want to use it. So, that's what I did. And actually, I'm happy with the results. So, I'm just going to get right into it. Alright, we got this guy, the Mad Hobgoblin. So, we're just going to get straight into it. Fire people. We'll do this. We'll do our ult. Let's swap into the gate. I think, I think we can break him. I don't think we're gonna break him because for some reason he's fairly beefy on the break dog side. Which is actually really annoying. He makes it this guy because he regains his break dodge and he heals. It's like when does he ever stop? We're we'll moving to him. Two skills. Oh. Spot me one. Do you see that? Look at that. I did so much damage in just a couple skills, bro. He's absolutely absurd. Right? Like, look at how much HP he has left already. 26k. That's crazy. I mean, not 26k, but 26 bars. That's crazy. We we'll go back into him again. We do it again. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hit. Do it again. Do the old. That's crazy. This damage is going like absurd. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Holy crap. He's dead! The boss is gone! Absolutely obliterated him! <laughs> like, I feel like this character is so underrated with how much damage he is outputting. Like, I don't know if you saw that, but like, the boss, the, the enemy's defense didn't matter because you build him with defense penetration and you build him with defense, right? And, and like, the damage that he did was just crazy and I, and I was like, like, I was, I, I'm actually shocked myself. Like, I knew he did a lot of damage, but I didn't expect him to go like that crazy. Holy, and you know what? I'll do a little, another run just to showcase it again. I didn't really talk about him. I'll talk about him right now. So basically, he has three stocks on this skill, right? So you use, you use one, and use another one. You see how I have two stacks of impulse on the bottom? They stay forever. So as long as you keep using your skills or getting hits, you eventually get it, right? You see I'm at 4 right now. Now you skill, now I have revenge impulse. Now you just go to crazy with the town. And you do... So there's a little bit of, of, a, of a combo that you do with this character too, right? And basically what the combo is, is you use his first skill three times, use his second skill one time, then normal attack one time. It's going to use your core attack automatically, right? And after you use your core attack, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna be able to use your greed again. You're gonna be able to use your greed once again, which is gonna let you attack again. But I'll show you right now. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Hit. Dead. Holy. Jesus Christ. Absolute duke of a monster. I, I mean, I guess that boss was a little bit weak. Like, this character is just insane, but I guess you do have to have some investment to have him working properly. But he he does so much damage, like, I think he carried me in the tier 6 Arachnid by himself. I didn't do anything else, just him alone. He literally carried me into that thing. And I, uh, like, I guess you could say, yeah, the dupes are helping me, but, like, not as much as you would think that would, they would be helping me. Like, yeah, they're good dupes, don't get me wrong, they're, they're like, good, like good dupes to have into him but like they're not necessary like the tier two the second dupe isn't anything crazy the first dupe it's okay but it only increases it by 100 percent right like it's already <laughs> doing a, a good 2300 percent damage you know like the, the increasing the damage by 100 percent isn't going to be anything too crazy it's good it's good don't get me wrong it, the main the main part is the fact that you can use it twice, right? But you don't need to use it twice. Like you see, as I just showed, sometimes I didn't even use it twice. I just used it once because I mean the boss didn't give me time to do it. But yeah, 
And then of course you have the three boop, which is the more important one, which does give him defense and defense penetration. But I didn't have this many stacks of it at a single time because they only last six seconds. And it's it's like you this is probably the only thing you have to manage on the character is this because the the impulse and the impulsive revenge is very easy to manage. You just have to use your skill upon entering three times and then use your other skill, which is greed. Uh, or scavenge, excuse me, scavenge. <laughs> which is your skill, but after like three stomps, which you just have by default in the kit, with three stomps, you'll have your impulsive revenge activated and then you can just go crazy. You can do your ult, whatever you want. It's gonna have bigger damage now because you have that impulsive revenge which gives you defense so it's like yeah more damage to your ult you know what i'm saying so yeah that's gonna be huang dong su i really think he's an amazing character a lot of people overlook the character he's he's amazing he, his kit might not bring a lot of variety to it or have anything crazy aside from the stun and the, the shield removal but as a dps character he, he he's there he's is there i'd even say that he's probably up there contending with Lim. maybe it's a little bit of a stretch because of how Lim's modifiers work on his on his ult but i'd say he's pretty high up there considering his skills do damn near as much damage as, as literally <laughs> his ult so i mean it's like he has multiple ults to me but yeah uh i mean that's gonna be it i, I love this character i think he's my favorite character now Lim used to be my favorite, but I think Lim is now going to have to be put to second favorite because Wong is... I just love using this character. He just feels so good and he's so simple, but he does so much damage and then the shield just makes him... Like, the shield just prevents him from getting interrupted and it's just a passive shield. You don't have to activate anything. You just have to get hit or just use your three stomps and then you'll you'll have it. It's it's so simple, so easy. and. It, and the shield is based off his defense, it's just so good. Uh, I mean, sorry for talking about him for so long. I know this video is a bit, a bit of a stretch, but amazing character. I love him. And if you guys have him, try him out. He's he's good once you learn how to play him. He's he does insane amount of damage. The output's good. So if you don't have a limb, he's a very good uh, secondary option. I wouldn't even call him secondary, I'd say they're even scales to me. But I mean, that's for me, my opinion. So appreciate you guys for watching as usual, you know, this been, this was the showcase of Huang Dong Su, absolutely nutty unit. I think a lot of people are gonna, you know, find out he's actually a pretty good character. And when there's a lot more bosses that actually have shields, you know, you're gonna be trying to wonder uh, who can I use? And you know, Huang Dong Su, he'll be there to save the day. So yeah, love you guys. Appreciate you guys for watching the video, especially if you lasted this long, cause it was a very long video, but Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.